Welcome to module 4, lesson number 5. In this example, we would be building an Express application which would do the which will implement a RESTful API, the CRUD RESTful API, and we would use MongoDB. So you can you see I'm I already have the boilerplate in which I have my middleware, I have the Express itself, and then I connect to the database, and I also have four routes get accounts, post accounts, put accounts, and delete accounts. Then I'm starting the server. Okay, so that's the boilerplate code. Make sure you have it as, as your starting point. And also in the package.json, we have body parser, exp uh, express, error handler, mongoose, and morgan. We do not use the native MongoDB driver. We'll be using the mongoose driver. So how do you use it? Well, we would work with documents and models, but before we can work with them, we need to define a schema. So let's start with our schema and typically the schema would be defined in a separate file but this is a relatively small example so it's okay to have it in the same file so i would use new schema because i defined that schema and top and the number would be the number of our account any banking account has a number it must be unique the name would be a string and you can see in the schema you can set up certain fields as required you can also uh, have some default values as you saw in previous example with updated add and created add the balance balance would be also a number it's also required there's no such thing as account without a balance even if it's a zero address address would be a string if you want to be uh, really precise, you can create a nested document with a city, state, and um, street name as an address inside of the address. For now, it's just a string. Some other fields, just to illustrate that um, schema could have different types, number, string, date, etc., etc. Now we can start implementing app.getaccounts. So let's put a console log so we know it's a get. And of course, if we're using Morgan, we would see those server logs as well. First of all, we would invoke account.find. So account with a capital A, that's a model, that's not a document. And there is a method that will work and perform a query. Basically, it's a native query for the find. And then right away we have the callback, but you you can notice there is no two array. So that's another advantage of Mongoose. You don't need to convert it to an array with two array. It just gives you array of documents and we check for errors and send back the results if there is no error. If there is an error, then call next. Next, it's a express middleware, which will go all the way to the error handler. Okay. The next implementation is app.post, so post slash accounts. What we need to do, we need to create a new document in our MongoDB database without calling any native functions. So the way we do it, we instantiate, we create the new instance by calling new account with a, account with a capital A. And we also provide, we only white label, basically, we whitelist the fields. Now with MongoDB, it's not as important when uh, compared to when you use just a native driver, but still, it's a good idea to only list the fields that you need. Why it's not as important? Because Mongoose has, it will validate against the schema. So what you can see, we created a new document, new account, it's a new document, and then we invoke save. And in the callback, we would wait so we would wait for the save to finish it's asynchronous method it will have a callback with error and created account so created account will have the new object id which we need send back to our client it could be a react app it could be an angular app so it needs that id so later it could work with that so we're using response.send now put put is for updating this is interesting because it's not like a typical native call first we need to find that document and by finding i'm not saying find the document just for the data we actually need to find the document which is mongoose object so account variable would be mongoose object and then we merge the fields 
the fields which are coming from reg.body with the, with the count and we get the new values we get the new values and then we save it of course when we save it everything will be validated against the schema if you have some custom validators it would be validated if you have some extra junk it will be omitted if you have some uh, wrong typing you would get an error for that so we are safer when we are using this safe account.safe and then of course we are sending back the updated value when you use a native method such as um, update you would not have the validation so that's why it's important to first find that document the mongoose document and then work with that later the next method the next route which we implement it's uh, delete slash account slash id so we're using reg.params id to delete only one id because ids are unique and again same idea as with the put with updating first we need to find the document it's going to be special mongoose object and then we would invoke the remove method account.remove and it's asynchronous so again we would provide a callback to make sure the removal went successfully we check for error if there is no error then we would proceed and we would output actually we don't need to send back the object we would just send the status 204 and id account in some clients most of the clients this will be ignored but you can also have it and i've just noticed a tiny error here we don't need to invoke the body we, it's uh, just a property okay so far so good so we have our restful server so let's go ahead and uh, try to test it try to run it again we can use node space dot because it's uh, index.js as you can see here so this is our postman application so okay so the get is working that's good so now let's um actually i have a few saved requests so let's let's try to okay so we're seeing there is a problem it's on line 56 the next is not defined so let's define it and that looks good so rerun it and we are submitting post again Let's make it post okay send so let's cancel it so we're submitting post it says we need the number so this is a typical error which you have when the um, schema has been violated the validation basically came back negative uh, there is no number and that's a required field so let's so put the number of our account one two three four five six seven let's run it again and it says it's invalid json because we need to wrap it in double quotes send it again and now it's a good response now it's a good response so this is our id so we can just repeat to get account and this is our newly created object so that's good so now let's go ahead and try to update so remember it's main checking and the balance is 100 so let's let's add that id to our url and then so we're not going to change the name but let's change the balance let's say we got our uh, payment of 100 dollars we sold some uh, bitcoins and um, this is our new balance so let's double check it with a get request get slash accounts so in fact the balance has been changed okay so that's good we created we read we updated now let's go ahead and delete so I don't want to delete that proper account so let's delete just some of the um, ugly accounts which are violating our structure so let's clean up let's delete them and we're sending the data so there's no body right remember I said 
the body depending on the client most of the tasks would not be displayed for this type of uh, status for 204 but we can get to the uh, we can go to the get request and do another get request and you can see it is gone it's gone 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 we deleted it so this is the output uh, the server logs uh, they're a little bit ugly i have get null so maybe um, i need to clean it up a little bit but otherwise it's working you we've tested it manually you can also test it go in the mongo ui test it on um, on that end so it's a edx course db so if i go to edx database the x course database and it will be in accounts so i can see this is the previous account this is the one that i've created it has the balance it has the number and the balance is 200 okay so it works we confirmed it on the restful api and also on the database via mongo ui and by the way this is the url for the mongo ui uh, you can you can refresh it you can share it you can bookmark it the url reflects your position in the collection and in the database so that's it for this example until in the next video